Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. So special facts. I know my worth facts. My bloodline royal facts. We the kings of the earth. Right. You can't stop this. Nah, nah. You can't stop this. No way. Yo, boy, way I try. Don't... Okay, Isaiah, we're gonna show you according to the Bible. You believe the Bible? You got a Bible at home? You need to get a Bible. We got they got Bibles over here for ten dollars. You know what I'm saying? You get a holy Bible where you can prove all things. Because we could be telling you anything, right? But we got the Bible open. We're going to read to you the image of Christ. You, you ever played baseball before? Football. So we're going to play baseball. You know, three strikes and you out, right? We're going to do a three strike and you out. We're going we gonna to read the Bible and we're going to see which one of them get three strikes first. Okay? So... We're in Revelations. Revelations mean to reveal. So it's somebody seeing Christ and they're going to reveal to you how he looks. Because, and to put it in the Bible, because one day me and you was going to get together and we was going to discuss this. We was going to discuss this. This is what the Bible's for. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Who got woolly hair on the earth? You know what woolly hair look like? Touch that head. Touch your hair. That's what yeah. woolly hair look like. That's right. That's what it feels like. It look like this. It look like this. It look like that. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white, white like, like wool. wool. So his head and his hairs were white like wool. Wool is hair like ours. So who got wool hair? This image or this image? So that's one strike for him. Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So his, his, his hair was white as snow. He had a beard too. He kept a full beard on his face. Beard is a manly dignity. When you get older, you need to keep a beard on your face. You know what I'm saying? Because that means you are lying on the earth. God commanded us to keep a beard. Read it, read it again. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes was as a flame of fire. Jesus Christ, he drunk wine. So he drunk wine in moderation. Sometimes his eyes get red. You ever seen your mama and daddy drink a little wine and their eyes get red a little bit? So which one got red eyes? This man or this man? That's two strikes against him. That's right. That's two strikes. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet. John the Revelator seen his feet. His feet was like fine brass. You know what color brass is, my brother? Well, I got a penny. You got a penny? Brass is in the brown family. Brass is a color of uh, brown. It's brownish, a brownish color. So his feet like unto fine brass. Now listen to this part. As if they burned in a furnace. They did what? Burned 
in a furnace. So it was it was brown like it burnt in a furnace. If you burn anything, what color is gonna get? Black. So which one look like they burnt in the furnace a little bit? This man or this man? That's three strikes. So we've been raised up on this being Jesus our whole life. You know what I'm saying? You ever, you ever, you ever wonder why? Wonder why we've been raised up like that? Because they've been lying to us about who Jesus is. You ever watch um, uh, any of the movies with Jesus in it? What? Who, what color was it? You see what I'm saying? So the Bible says something different. So the whole world trying to show us the image of Christ as being white, but the Bible say he will it have like yours. Right. And dark skin, but like burnt in a furnace. So the world been lying to us. Bring it out. So if the world been lying to us about the image of Jesus, what else they been lying to us about? I mean, do you celebrate your birthday? What about Christmas? So we're going to show you in the Bible about Christmas. Because this man taught us Christmas. It's, who this man? How is that man Christ and we just read how Christ looked? This the devil. That's right. This man taught us Christmas and birthdays. This the devil. He's not even in the Bible. We just read he had woolly hair and red eyes and dark skin. So that's Christ. This is the devil. We've been, we've been thinking this Christ our whole life, ain't heavenly. That's crazy. So this man been teaching us lies after lies after lies. Now we're gonna show you about uh, this this particular holiday. We wanna we wanna see if you understand it. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter ten and verse one. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. O the house of Israel. It says, he's, uh, the Bible is written to us, for us, and by us. What, what, you see yourself on this side? Which one you say you was again? Haitian. So you know there's no Haitian in the Bible. Your God-given name is what? Levi. That's right. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. You ever heard of Moses? Moses was a Levi. So if Moses was living the day right now, guess what they'll be calling? Huh? No? What the other name you just said? Haitian. They'll be calling him a Haitian right now if he was living the day. Because they never called him Haitian then. They started calling us Haitian when we got, came over here in slavery. Right. So now we're going back. We're trying to let you know you're an Israelite. And your Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Read that. Read it from the top again. This is what it says. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. O house of Israel. We, we're going over. You, you celebrate uh, Christmas? Listen to, this, listen, to what, listen to what God said about Christmas. Read that. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. So it says, learn not the ways of the heathen. This is the heathen. He said, learn not the ways of these white people. Right. Learn not the ways of them. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. So the customs going into their holidays. The customs of the people are vain. Vain mean lies. So learn not the ways of the heathens and learn none of their holidays because they are lies. That's what vain mean, lies. And custom mean their they holidays and their philosophy. Read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. So one, so they go and they go into the forest and they cut a tree out. I want you to tell me what holiday this is. Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. So they go into the forest, they cut a tree out, and they deck it with silver and gold. Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. So they fasten it when they go, they fasten it down where it won't, where it won't move. Read. That it move not. That it move not. What holiday is that? Halloween? What holiday? Christmas. Christmas. It's Christmas. Read it again from the top. For the customs of the people are vain. The holidays are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They go and cut a tree out of the forest. They deck it with silver and with gold. What we deck with silver and gold? That Christmas tree. 
Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. So they fasten it down with nails and hammers that it move not. Nowadays we go in Walmart and get a Christmas tree. But back in the days, they used to they used to go in the forest and get a tree. You know what I'm saying? Back oh look, thousands of years ago. You know what I'm saying? So they deck it. So what the, what the beginning part of uh, the Bible said about this uh, custom? What it say? What it say to, to don't do? Don't follow the ways of the heathens. That's right, exactly. Their customs are vain. So our mamas and daddies and grandmamas, they taught us Christmas and slavery. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now, when we get, we're starting to understand the Bible better, Christmas is not of God. Bring it out. Christmas is of the heathens, the devil. This man is not in the Bible. This man is the devil. And he's been teaching us Christmas. So we got to come out of the ways of the heathens. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, we talked to you earlier about birthdays, right? We're going to show you about birthdays in the Bible. Let's, let's pull that. Because God never gave us Christmas, and he never gave us birthdays according to the Bible. None of these people celebrated birthdays. We are the God's chosen people, the black Hispanics and the Native Americans. We celebrate birthdays because our slave masters taught us those lies. This white image taught us lies after lies after lies. And our mama teaches, our uh, grandma taught our mamas, and our, and our mamas taught us, so on and so forth. When you get older, if you don't change and come back to the Bible, you're going to teach your kids the same dang on lie. Right. We got to come out of lies and come back into the Word of God. God gives give us instructions on what to do and what not to do. God never gave us Christmas. He never gave us birthdays. And we're going to read it. Birthdays, read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 20, verse 14. This Jeremiah, this is a prophet in the Bible. Jeremiah, read. Cursed be the day wherein I was born. Cursed is the day when he, when he was born. It's a curse, according to God, to worship the day you were born. That's the number one commandment. Huh? Oh, pray. His name Jeremiah. So Jeremiah, this Jeremiah said, "Cursed be the day that you were born." Meaning, don't worship that day. Let's get that Ecclesiastes uh, 71, the regular Bible. So yes, we 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 are commanded not to celebrate the heathen customs. All of the holidays, Fourth of July, Valentine's Day, Father's Day coming up. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go with Father's Day. Y'all celebrate Father's Day? Okay, we're going to show you why God say don't celebrate Father's Day after birthday. Right here. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 1. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. So you ever heard the saying, it, it's, you cry when you come in, and you, and you rejoice when you leave the earth? You ever heard that before? I'm sure y'all probably never heard that. But when we come, when, when we be born, we come into sin. We come into a lot of troubles and hard times. When we leave, we go to a better place and we keep it going long. Right. So that's why we're supposed to be, we don't supposed to rejoice when you be born. You're supposed to be like, oh boy, you finna go through this hard time. No, we gonna get the, we get the worst jobs. We always get in trouble. They shoot us down in the streets. Those things are when we when we come here on this earth as kids, those things gonna happen to us. They target brothers like us with woolly hair and dark skin. You know that on the news. They always picking on us, right? The book of Job, chapter one and verse one. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. Verse four. And his sons went and feasted in their houses. Every one his day. So and when it said every one his day, his sons, he had a lot of sons, Job. And they went and feast in the houses. Every one his day. His day meaning the day they was born. So they knew better than to do that, but they wanted to be rebellious. You know what I'm saying? Job, their daddy taught them what to do and what not to do according to the Bible. But they wanted to be rebellious. And look what happened to him. Read. And sent and called for their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And they called their sisters to eat and drink with them. Party. Let's call them party. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. 
But Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned. So that it may be that they, my sons have sinned. Job said, dang, if they did this, they have sinned against the Most High God. So Job tried to sacrifice to get God forgiveness for what they have done by celebrating the day they was born. Right. On their birthday, they, God never gave us birthdays. He gave, he gave us law, statutes, and commandments. He never gave us birthdays. He never gave the black, Hispanics, and the Native Americans birthdays. Go to verse 3 and 3. The book of Job, chapter 3 and verse 3. Let the day perish wherein I was born, and the night in which it was said, there, there is a man-child conceived. So, same thing I said in Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, curse be the day we was born. Job saying the same thing. So we got to come out of these birthdays. I know it's going to be hard for y'all, but if you want to please God, you're going to do what God say. God say, his instruction books is here. Man going to tell you to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to Colossians 2 and, 2 and, 2 and 8. So man going to tell you, don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. We reading out the Bible. Your mama gonna say, don't listen to them. Your daddy gonna say, your grandma gonna say, don't listen to them. We reading out the Bible. Which one you believe? You believe the Bible or you believe your mama and your daddy? Uh, according to, according to uh, going against the Bible. Which one are you supposed to believe? The Bible. If they, if they talking in the Bible, then you believe them. But if they talking against the Bible, you don't believe them. I know that your mom and daddy are supposed to honor your mother and your father. But we're supposed to trust in the Bible for our instructions to get the kingdom of heaven. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We got to do what God say and not what I say and not what you say. Right. You know what I mean? So read that. The book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So this this is Paul telling, telling the people, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit. That means that holidays and different traditions outside of God's word. Right. He said, beware of that. That's going to happen. We're waking up now. We're understanding the Bible better now. And we know that God said, beware of these things. Because I used to celebrate my birthday. True. I'm 53 years old. I've been celebrating my birthday forever. But now I understand that God don't want me to do it. I don't do it no more. Right. I repented from that. I changed. It might be hard, but you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? You want to please God. Read. Do after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. After the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. The world gonna say it's okay, but you ain't following. You ain't following the black Messiah. Right. You following this devil. The world, the world say the devil right, and not the and not the true Jesus. You know what I'm saying? We gotta come out of that. So when you when you uh, how do you how do you Isaiah? Well. You put you have, you have a birthday party and get a cake, right? How many candles you put in the cake? Twelve. And then what you do when you when you light the candles? What you do next? Before you blow them out, what you do? Make a wish. Who you wishing to? You wishing to the devil. Right. So we gotta we gotta we gotta stop doing that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day. Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.